Recently, a groundbreaking revelation stunned both scientists and space enthusiasts. The legendary science educator Bill Nye made headlines when he disclosed that NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft had detected over 300 massive, unidentified objects in deep space. This shocking announcement didn't just raise eyebrows, it ignited speculation and wonder around the world. What are these mysterious entities? Could they be new celestial formations, ancient interstellar debris, or something even more unimaginable? On today's journey with Discovery at 2.0, we'll uncover the astonishing story of Voyager 1 and how its relentless exploration is reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Since their launch in 1977, the twin Voyager spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have become icons of human ingenuity and perseverance. Initially designed for a five-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn, they have far exceeded their original expectations. Their voyage has turned into one of the greatest sagas of interstellar discovery in human history. The concept that made their journey possible was visionary. In the early 1970s, NASA scientist Michael Minovich proposed a method called gravity assist, where spacecraft could harness a planet's gravitational pull to accelerate and change direction. Later, Gary Flandreau recognized a rare alignment of the outer planets that would occur only once every 176 years, allowing a spacecraft to slingshot from one planet to another, reaching Neptune in just 12 years instead of 30. With this cosmic opportunity in hand, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were born. Voyager 1 launched on September 5, 1977, just days after Voyager 2. Though it was launched second, it was placed on a faster trajectory, overtaking its sibling to become the first to reach Jupiter and Saturn. Along the way, the Voyagers offered us our first up-close glimpses of these gas giants. They revealed Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere, swirling with storms the size of Earth, and Saturn's stunning ring system. Once thought to be simplistic, but now known to contain thousands of intricate ringlets. But their mission didn't stop there. Voyager 2 continued onward to Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, making it the only spacecraft to have visited all four outer planets. These encounters yielded revolutionary data, from Uranus's tipped magnetic field to Neptune's supersonic winds. Together, these missions were nicknamed the Grand Tour, an ambitious, once-in-a-lifetime exploration of the solar system's outer giants. After completing their planetary flybys, the Voyagers headed toward a new frontier, deep space. In 2013, NASA confirmed that Voyager 1 had officially crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind meets the pressure of interstellar space. This historic moment marked humanity's first step into the vast, star-speckled wilderness beyond our solar system. Voyager 2 would follow in 2018, confirming and expanding upon the findings of its sibling probe. Now, Voyager 1 is over 24 billion kilometers, 15 billion miles, from Earth, traveling through the interstellar medium, a region filled with particles, dust, and magnetic fields from ancient stars. This area lies beyond the reach of the Sun's magnetic shield and presents an entirely new environment filled with uncharted phenomena. The data it sends back is invaluable, offering humanity its only direct measurements of this distant cosmic domain. Among the most fascinating revelations is the difference in cosmic ray intensity. Inside the heliosphere, the Sun's magnetic field shields us from many high-energy particles. But beyond the heliopause, Voyager found cosmic rays to be several times more intense. Imagine stepping out from a quiet, walled garden into a thunderous storm. These findings are critical to understanding the dangers astronauts might face during future interstellar missions. In 2023, Voyager 1 once again amazed scientists when it detected a faint plasma wave humming, a subtle vibration in the interstellar gas surrounding the spacecraft. This hum was not a sudden burst but a constant, low-frequency signal, like a soft musical note echoing across the void. According to Nicola Fox, head of NASA's heliophysics division, these findings are transforming our understanding of the Sun's boundary and its interactions with the greater galaxy. All of this is made even more astonishing by the aging nature of the Voyagers. They rely on a plutonium-based power source called a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG. 
As the plutonium decays, the energy output slowly decreases, forcing NASA to shut down non-essential systems, including heaters meant to keep instruments warm in the freezing vacuum of space. Yet, even without heat, five of Voyager 1's key instruments continue to operate, a scientific miracle. Engineers are still baffled by how the spacecraft functions under such extreme conditions, where other probes would have ceased working long ago. But challenges persist. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced a strange malfunction. Its Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, responsible for orienting the spacecraft's high-gain antenna toward Earth, began sending incoherent data. The signal seemed random, almost like a scrambled message from a machine suffering a kind of digital confusion, what some scientists jokingly referred to as electronic aphasia. And yet, the antenna continued transmitting a strong, stable signal back to Earth, suggesting that Voyager 1 was still pointed in the right direction. Eventually, NASA traced the problem to a faulty computer system that hadn't been used in decades. The AACS was routing its data through this inactive unit, corrupting the information. The solution was to instruct Voyager to switch back to its functioning computer system for transmissions, a fix that worked. Still, the root cause remains a mystery, possibly tied to a cosmic ray or aging circuitry. Such glitches, though concerning, are expected for spacecraft approaching their 50th year in operation. The Voyagers were built using 1970s technology and operate with just 70 kilobytes of memory, less than what's in a digital wristwatch today. Updating their systems requires sending commands over billions of kilometers, a process that can take nearly a full day for each response. It's a feat akin to providing IT support from Earth to a car-sized machine drifting in total darkness on the edge of the known universe. Another mystery surrounds the heliopause itself. Far from being a static boundary, it's now believed to shift and bend, responding to changing solar winds and pressures in the interstellar medium. Data from Voyager and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, IBEX, show that the heliopause can move dramatically in a short time. This might explain why Voyager 1 entered interstellar space six years before Voyager 2, despite being closer to the Sun at the time. In 2014, IBEX detected an unusual spike in energetic particles near the boundary, an event that didn't align with any known models. It hinted at unexpected structures within the heliopause, possibly caused by magnetic turbulence or interstellar shocks. Such findings continue to challenge long-held assumptions and open new avenues for research. Looking to the future, NASA plans to launch the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, IMAP, in 2025. This mission will offer a broader, high-resolution view of the interactions between the solar wind and interstellar medium building upon the Voyager legacy and perhaps helping us answer lingering questions about the nature of our sun's boundary, and what lies beyond. And yet, even as these new missions prepare for launch, Voyager continues to astonish. Among its most iconic contributions was the photograph known as the Pale Blue Dot. In 1990, at the request of Carl Sagan, Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward Earth. From over 6 billion kilometers away, it captured a tiny speck suspended in a sunbeam, our home, Earth. That image became a timeless reminder of our fragility, unity, and the humility needed when contemplating the cosmos. The Voyagers have done more than capture images and readings, they've rewritten the story of the solar system. Thanks to them, we now know that Europa and Enceladus may harbor subsurface oceans capable of supporting life. We've seen volcanoes on Io, geysers on Triton, and ring systems more complex than we ever imagined. And now, with Voyager 1 detecting hundreds of unexplained objects in deep space, we stand at the edge of yet another revelation. These objects could be rogue planets, debris from ancient stellar explosions, or something entirely unfamiliar to science. Their nature remains a mystery, one we may not solve for years, but one that reminds us just how much there is left to discover. Nearly five decades after their journey began, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remain our most distant emissaries. Their signals, weak but unwavering, continue to whisper secrets of the universe from beyond the stars. As they drift farther into interstellar space, we are reminded of the boundless potential of human curiosity, vision, and resilience. So what do you think? 
Are these mysterious objects natural, artificial, or evidence of something we've never even considered? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you're fascinated by space exploration, subscribe to Discovery at 2.0 for more cosmic stories and scientific adventures that challenge the boundaries of imagination.